Hey, I'm Danny Helen with Maverick Agriculture, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do your flow calibration with the Agrass T40 spreading system. So what I got going on back here is that when we put our product in for the flow calibration, it's going to run right through, and so we elevated it up so then when the product falls down, we can catch it in these buckets. And today we have about 30 pounds of pretty litter that we're going to be using, so shout out to our operations manager who's going to take it off our hands after first cap. So the way this is going to work is that you're going to want to calibrate it with an empty tank first and then put your product in. You're going to want to have at least 20 pounds of product in there. DJI recommends that you have it a full tank, but if you want to do it the way we are, where we have about 30 pounds here, when it's running through, halfway in between, we'll have to pause the calibration and refill it again. So what the T40 is doing, it's going to gradually increase the hopper speed because it's going to have to make a graph of how fast the product's running through as the hopper gate's opening. So you're going to want to do this especially when you're first using the spreading system in the Agrash T40 and then you're also going to want to do this each time you're doing a new product. So then it'll save as a template on the remote controller so you don't have to do it every time you're about to start your mission, but you're going to have to do it for each new product so it knows that you're getting the best rate possible for your application. The first thing you want to do to start this process is make sure that you have your spreading tank installed and if you don't know how to swap out the tanks we have another video up that shows you how to do that and then once you have your spreading tank in installed you want to make sure that there's nothing in it because we're going to calibrate it empty first. Okay so we're going to be in manual mode for this task and to just make sure you're in that mode you just click the top right button in the corner and then select manual mode. You should be able to do this in route mode as well but we're going to stay in manual. And then what you want to do is go over into your settings and then down to your spreading system settings. And then you're going to want to do the tire calibration for your weight to equal to zero. So you'll hit that and you'll press continue and start calibration. Once it's completed, you'll hit OK. And then now that our weight is zero, we're going to add our product. All right, so we got about 31 pounds of pretty litter in there. So next we're gonna tape off of the hopper disc. So instead of it spinning and spreading product around, we're just gonna take that off so it flows straight down into our bucket here. So at first you're gonna to wanna to remove this little pin here. And then these are reverse threads. So righty, righty loosey, lefty tighty here. If this is your first time removing this, you'll most likely need a plier since there is a little locking system on there. But after that, it's pretty easy to get off. And then once that's off, there's a washer that will come out here. And then we pull this off. All right, so now we're actually gonna run the flow calibration and we switched out our bucket here because we found a little bit larger one to use so we don't need to have less spillage. Uh, so. So now that you're in the screen, you're going to go to your settings and then back into your spreading system settings. And then we're going to go into materials management and create a new material that way. So there might be some preset ones on already on your controller. You can delete them, save them, whatever you want to do. But for your material, you're going to want to create a new one. So we're going to add new material and then we're going to choose the first hopper outlet since that's the one we have installed here. And then we're going to press start calibration. So what it's doing here is it's basically going to just start flowing our product through and then it's going to gradually increase like I said. So we were able to get through the whole process with just our 47 pounds of kitty litter. Uh, in case if you can't, what you'll do is it'll actually pause on the controller for you and then it'll stop flowing out and then just take your bucket that's catching everything, put it back in, put your bucket back down and then press resume on the controller and then it'll finish out. And then once you're done, what you'll do is it'll have you name what you're doing. So I just put pretty litter since that's what we're running through and then you press complete and then it's saved on your materials management and then from there you can go to creating your task in the field. All right, so now that you completed your flow calibration, it's going to be saved on your controller and to actually integrate it into your task, what you want to do is go into your route mode and then from there select the field that you want to be using and then press use. And then for the material, you'll click your pretty litter for us or for whatever you named it and then you can adjust your application rates, spinner disk speed, flight speed, all of that, 
A quick note to know is that somewhere between 800 to 1100 is a good is uh, an average spinner to speed. And just to know that the faster you have it, the wider your spread will be. All right, so that was the process on how to do the flow calibration on the Agras T40. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow all social medias.